Hey, Gavux here. So, Ramon and Coach did a little Q&A today on Diamond Dynasty. I'm going to go through probably the biggest change to MLB The Show 21 that nobody's talking about, in my opinion. Now, there were some great answers here in the um, Q&A, which I'll go over some of this news. Um, obviously, the DH being added to Diamond Dynasty is kind of a big thing. Um, and I kind of want to talk through my opinions on this. Now, the DH is not back. Moments are not, uh, you know, changing much. They said it's a core feature. We can kind of talk through some of the stuff. They, they brought in a new card series, the 40-40 Club. Now, obviously, if they bring in more 40-40 guys, we got Bonds, A-Rod, Canseco, which I guess theoretically all of them could be in the game. Bonds would be an absolute, you know, insane get for MLB The Show since he really hasn't been in an MLB game in a long time. And I, I think he would uh, I'll ask for, like, you know, cover of the game type money. So, 40-40 club, it could just be like an award series club. Like, we've had award series in the past. It could be like 300 strikeouts to see people uh, commentating on and guessing about other big milestones. It could do 30-30 too. Um, so, there's a lot of things. Triple Crown. We'll see what they end up doing with this, but Alfonso Soriano, it's kind of nice because, you know, power and speed is a lot of what this game goes around. So, Soriano has it at a very nice position too. But, I do kind of want to go through this big change that I don't see a lot of people talking about, and I'm sure some people have talked about it, but this this uh, response from Colin at SDS, I've said it before, I'll say it again, Only the Show 21 supports cross-play and cross-generational plays, you know, PS4, PS5, and PS5, Xbox, that kind of stuff. So everyone plays everyone when matched together. The only condition where you can't match against someone is if you're using Create a Stadium, as Create a Stadiums can only be created and played on next-gen consoles. What does this mean for the show? Basically, I, I, I would imagine if you create a stadium, now you can't do it in 20, um, if you create a stadium... I think the better players are going to be having next-gen consoles, the streamers. And I think the MLB The Show community is very blessed with a lot of their streamers are insanely good at the game. So these streamers with the new hardware creating the stadiums kind of show off. Basically, what's going to happen is that's probably where the higher competition will be. So if you want to kind of target lesser competition, you can probably play without a creative create stadium. You can play on PS4, Xbox, the, the, the current gen stuff, um, and, and you won't really be matched up with them because they'll have their creative stadium, you know, they, they show off their, their, their decked out location. Um, so it, it's kind of like offers a little bit of a competitive uh, a difference, right? Because you really want to target Xbox guys, and I would imagine current gen. Now, I'm not saying all current gen players are bad. Sorry if you took it that way. I'm just saying a lot of the top end guys more invested into the game will have next gen consoles. Now, you'll always have, like, you know, the guys that aren't good at the game play casually get next gen consoles. So it's more like a, 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 a general feeling that I have versus any sort of hardcore statistics about where the better and more dedicated and more like uh, quality uh, opponents will be at. So the other change and i think even bigger than that not just the cross-gen playing and kind of who, who to target and how to win games because you know rewards are based a lot around wins are uh, is going to be the cross play with the uh market so now the market here in the community market if you guys recall if you guys have ever played madden or anything like that there's multiple markets for ps4 ps uh and, and xbox that kind of stuff now you, you'll know xbox has lower prices on the markets for madden than playstation and that's because the population of xbox is slightly higher for madden now that's not true across the board like you know i think ps4 outsells xbox across the world but you know madden's a an american game and you know a lot of uh, americans would buy the american console so i don't know I, the exact differences are, are debatable but the, the prices on xbox are lower so that means when this game launches, when this game launches and like the, the, the series, right, this, the live series guys will come out, we're going to see, a, I feel like a large drop in prices pretty quickly because a higher population means more people pulling pack, means more people listing. Now you're like, well, yeah, but the same can be said by people buying stubs and buying those cards. I've just seen it done. And you guys know me, if you know me at all, we've been in the mutt market doing this stuff for years, probably the best in the business at it. The higher the population, the lower the prices. So you see a lot of people talking about right away, oh yeah, sell your sell your lower than 90 overall cards right away. These ones are going to go down. I'd expect them to go down very quickly this year with the amount of new players online. Now, maybe you can say the population won't be that great because not a lot of people pre-order on Xbox. They're waiting for it to go free on Ultimate Game Pass. So like right away, maybe they won't drop to what they are like right now, 15K, 5K uh, on, the, on the sell now. They'll be actually significantly higher than that. And that's a fair point. But I just want you to let you know, the cross-play is also going to make the market a lot more competitive. 
for for snipes and for for uh, I guess cards overall. Now it's luckily not on PC, so guys aren't setting up sniping bots, sniping macros, that kind of stuff to do stuff like that. You can still do that on your PlayStation, or your Xbox with like remote play and stuff like that, but it is a little bit harder to do that. So do expect a little bit of that. Do expect prices on these things and the market itself to be very competitive because it's cross all consoles. So like that's what I like. It's like the stock market, right? There's so many different people, so many different players. The the, the bid ask differences are pretty slim there and you can't really make a lot of money just buying and selling like right now there's very little population on 20 and you can see some of these spreads i mean 1300 stubs where you're basically profiting from 100 to 1490 if they end up uh, somebody ended up buying the pablo lopez at that price so i do expect things to be very hard to flip versus previous years because of the raised number of people on the systems the raised number of people trying to go no money spent trying to grind stubs it's not going to be impossible i definitely think it's going to be doable i'm just going to i'm just saying the competition is going to be very stiff it's like uh, like martinis that i make right so big changes to the game for people that want to grind it and people that want to do market-based stuff now the other changes to the game that we kind of want to talk about here is is is, is some of these all right that I talked about today on twitter uh, all cards are grindable does this mean no collection rewards is, is this person on the sds forums talk about or, or the show.com um, the show.com is a place where you can go to like either the forums or uh, even better is the kind of marketplace that you can buy and, and sell cards online um, that's kind of it's it's huge it's like mudhead and like the community sites but you know first parties so you can like do stuff on it um, all cards are grindable was something that ramon did say in this um uh video right here and i don't know having all cards grindable is a strange thing because technically all cards are grindable because you can just grind for stubs and they use those stubs to buy stuff. So it's an interesting thing. We'll see, obviously, tomorrow. Where do you say all cards are grindable? Um, but it's an interesting thing to say and to see and, and, and see what they actually mean by all cards being grindable. That's definitely something, uh, a, a big, interesting detail that they have. So um, we've added more ways to earn some of those difficult cards from previous versions. So like BR and, and uh, packs outside of BR, they could do like a ticket counter again where you get a certain number of tickets. They've had that in the past to allow you to get like a non-auctionable version of a BR reward or a World Series reward. So that way there's not 500 people standing in line with a million stubs for one certain card like we've seen uh, in, in this year's game. Where like there's like a million stub cards here. Like, not Johnny Bench so much. Who's got the longest line right now? I know uh, Williams is probably pretty decent. 80 people with a million stubs trying to buy the Ted Williams uh, before the game goes away. Willie Mays, I'm sure, has got a lot. 89 for him. So, yeah, there's there's quite a few at that level um, right now in the game. So, I wonder if they're going to change the market and go over 1 million stubs to allow uh, players to buy these cards for whatever they just you know their actual intrinsic worth is. Uh, but we'll see what the rarity of changes for uh, a way of grinding this this BR rewards outside of BR. I don't love it. Like I really do like and enjoy that some cards are like you know the hardcore grind, the World Series version. Um, you have to actually get World Series to get the card. I think that's a good idea. But we'll see the changes tomorrow. I'll do a video on it. No DH in Diamond Dynasty this year. Moments are back in a core feature. New card art, new card series, including this one. Yeah, we talked about that right at the top. Uh, marketplace we talked about roster updates remain weekly and attributes updates are weekly or bi-weekly uh attribute updates for the game so basically attribute updates for people that don't know people that don't know sorry i got the hiccups um are uh live series cards now they go up and down that it's not like madden or uh, uh like uh other games where Basically, if a car, if a guy gets a new card, if they go up and overall they get a new card, you got to re-pull it from packs. In this game, their live series will literally go up and down. You can see right there, plus four. Corey Seager went up four overall with this update. He went from an 87 to a 91, so he didn't get a new card. Although they will get new cards, but live series cards update depending on how well they're doing. So like Acuna should be going up because he's off to a hot start, and, and many of the other ones in the league ripping the cover off the ball or, or, or pitchers dotting dudes up should go up and we've talked about it before for investments from like golds to diamonds and stuff like that um there it is for uh attribute update so that's not really changes um but i i don't mind like if they you know do more than bi-weekly for roster updates and, and guys going up and down because the more often they bring guys up and down in attributes the better it is for people investing in these cards and uh, quick selling for for stubs. So it's a very, very nice way of making stubs and probably going to be one of the best ways, again, this year of doing it. Uh, 
Yeah, they're relying on stadium creator to fill the void of the stadiums. Is is it's kind of what he implied? They're they're not pre-building stadiums, not bringing like old classic stadiums. We'll have to do it, and I think it'll be interesting to see what the community can do with the with the stadiums and, and doing like old parks, like you know, we have Forbes, where's Three Rivers, you know that kind of stuff. Uh, the Prestige Edition is completely revamped. Now, I, I kind of like the Prestige uh, version from this year. It's simple. It goes up three attributes for everything. I hope they don't make it, like, too much crazier. Um, I, they, they might make it easy. They might do offline ways of getting these Prestige cards. I really did enjoy having to grind online cards, online, like, events, ranked series, that kind of stuff, for the plus threes for these cards overall. Um, so we'll see and see what the revamp is tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I did love the simplicity of it and uh, the, the boosts on the card. So I hope they don't make it any more complicated than it is because sometimes simple is nice. But that's it for the video with Diamond Dynasty changes and, and crazy under the radar stuff. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please. Thumbs down, but let me know what you think I did wrong. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.